how do you go about working on your dream and ensuring that you're definitely going to make it a reality? What is your process and systems for that? Great. So um, usually around November of every year, I set my goals for the next year, right? However, I set goals for one year, three years, five years, 10 years, 20 years, right? So I already have goals into my 80s, right? I'll be 60 soon. So I've got goals 20 years out already. Now I don't focus on those goals too much, except I see those. So let's take, um, you know, any goal that I have right now for the next 12 months. First, I ask myself, am I interested or am I committed to achieving this one goal? Let's work on one goal right now. Am I interested or am I committed? Is it kind of like, yeah, I'd really like to, that'd be fun, it'd be great. If it's kind of like, yeah, it'd be fun, it'd be great, I take it off my list because I'm not gonna do it. So I only work on goals I'm committed to achieving. That's number one, because then my stories and excuses and reasons, you know, are going to come up and then I'm going to be disappointed and then I'm going to lose my self-worth or self-esteem. So first and foremost, am I committed to achieving that goal? If the answer is yes, I go great. Then what I do is what do I need? What are the behaviors? What is the strategic plan to achieve it? Let's say I'm committed to getting in, uh, really good shape and losing 10 pounds and getting my body fat to 12%. That's the goal. That's the vision. I'm going to have more energy, healthy, etc. I say, great. Um, what are the strategies I'm going to use to get there? So I say, okay, I'm going to go to the gym three times a week. I'm going to hire a personal trainer. I'm going to bike twice and hike once a week. Uh, I'm going to do uh, 60 minutes a day in the gym. I'm going to do 30 minutes a day of or 30 minutes hike, uh, etc. So I develop what exactly does that mean? Okay, what are the tools and resources that I need? Um, whose help do I need? Uh, and then I put that in my calendar and, and then I do it. So then I have my daily rituals. So I have goals for spiritual connectedness, for mental health, emotional health, physical health. I have goals for business, uh, for income, for, for, you know, for every area of my life, relationship with my wife, my children, my mother, father, sister, brother. I have goals for every one of those. And then I take a look at my calendar and I go, okay, what do I need to do daily? What do I need to do weekly? What do I need to do monthly? Like, I don't need to see my parents every day, but I can call them every day, especially since they're really important for my values and my life. So every day, after, you know, uh, on my way to the gym, okay, I call my mother and call my father. Two minute call, three minute call, I get that done every day. Now it becomes a habit, now I can't not do it. So I take the time to plan. Now I'm able to stick to my plan probably 80% of the time. Not 100, but 80% of the time. But guess what? <laughs> I achieve a lot of goals because I have some structure. And then if something's not working, you know, the night before, so for example, tonight, I'll invest 15 minutes to make sure that my day for tomorrow looks productive, not, you know, active, productive. Will there be things that I've got on my calendar tomorrow help me achieve my goals for the day, the week, the month? For health, wealth, relations, career, business, finances, et cetera. Will it help me? Yes or no? If the answer is no, I change my schedule. I, I call my assistant, I said, I need to make some adjustments. And we readjust for the day. Every Sunday, I invest about 30 minutes looking at the week. Every month, I spend about three hours looking at the month. I do a review of what happened, and then I do a projection for what I want to happen. So I have these consistent checks and balances in place to check and balance, check and balance, check and balance, check and balance all the time. I have my own, you know, it's a cybernetic mechanism, it's called. If you, um, if you fly from London here to San Diego, right? The pilot will put in the coordinates, you know, from London to San Diego. And there's a route that's created by the automatic pilot on the plane. What most people don't recognize or realize is because of headwinds, tailwinds, because of a lot of different factors, uh, 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 the plane is off course most of the time. But because the destination's locked in, and because the coordinates are consistently being adjusted, the plane gets to San Diego. And so our job, what's the destination? What's the initial flight plan? 
and then we adjust, 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 adjust. So if you give yourself the ability to adjust every day, in some cases, every hour for certain things, you can adjust to make sure your mindset, your attitude, your behaviors are accurate every hour, right? You can track, monitor, measure, tweak, and adjust. And guess what? Uh, you'll reach your goals in every area of your life.